Black cohosh is a perennial plant belonging to the family Ranunculaceae, with the scientific name of Actea racemosa L, a common synonym for which is Zemisifuga racemosa, L, nut. In 1998, the genus Actea was revised to subsumia or include the genera Semisifuga and Salia, thus, the genus now contains 28 species.12 of these, 8 are found in North America, 19 in Asia, and 1 in Europe. So these are some benefits of black cohosh. Black cohosh contains natural estrogen and helps in hot flashes, contracts the uterus, and increases sluggish menstrual flow. 1. It increases estrogen effect. Various studies support the use of black cohosh as an alternative to estrogen therapy in menopausal women. Black cohosh roots contain triterpene glycosides which bind to the estrogen receptor where it selectively suppresses LH secretion. Unlike estrogens, black cohosh does not affect the secretion of prolactin, follicle-stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone. The result is an estrogenic effect, which will decrease symptoms such as hot flashes, diaphoresis, and psychological disturbances. 2. It prevents osteoporosis. Black cohosh has bone resorption action and prevents osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. 3. Gives relief in PMS. Black cohosh gives relief in premenstrual symptoms, dysmenorrhea, and menopause. 4. Neutralizes poisons. Black cohosh helps the body to get rid of toxins by stimulating the secretions of the kidneys, the liver, lymphatic system, and bladder. 5. Helps in cold and flu. Black cohosh is expectorant and antitussive. It supports better circulation and expels mucus from the bronchial tubes. Moving to its uses and indications. Black cohosh has estrogenic action and is widely used as an alternative to estrogen therapy in menopausal women to treat peri and postmenopausal symptoms. It is also used in the treatment of dysmenorrhea and premenstrual disorders. It has expectorant, antitussive, and sedative activities and indicated in lungs congestion, bronchitis, flu or common cold. The World Health Organization, WHO, 2002, and the European Scientific Cooperative on Phytotherapy, 2003, have also listed black cohosh for menopausal symptoms. The German Commission E, 1989, has approved extracts from the rootstock of black cohosh for use in premenstrual discomfort and dysmenorrhea or climacteric, menopausal, neurovegetative symptoms. Bronchitis. Cold cough. Female tonic. Fever. Flu. Lumbago, pain in the lumbar region menstrual irregularities, musculoskeletal pain, pneumonia, premenstrual syndrome, PMS, rheumatism, rheumatoid arthritis, sedative, sluggish labor, snackabite, sore throats. So you may ask what are the right daily dosage? Well, for capsules, 40 to 80 mg twice a day standardized to 1 mg triterpenes. For liquid extract, 0.32 ml liquid root extract. For powdered rhizom, 0.3, 2grams for solid dry powdered extract, 250 to 500 mg, 41. For tincture, 2 to 4 ml root tincture, and 40 mg herb in 40-60% ethanol. Although, herb is not recommended for treatment longer than 6 months, unless advised by a physician. Moving to the side effects. It can slow the heart rate. It contains glycosides which may potentiate the effect of antihypertensive medications and result in hypotension. It can stimulate uterine. It can cause miscarriage. It can cause nausea, vomiting, and anorexia. Spontaneous hepatotoxicity has been reported in at least 42 case reports worldwide with treatment by Zemisifuga racemosa rhizoms. Excess dose, 5 grams, or an extract, 12 grams, leads to dizziness, tremors, gastroenteritis, pathologic erections, vomiting, headache, dizziness, limb pains, and lowered blood pressure. Last but not least, precautions. Do not use during pregnancy as it can increase the risk of spontaneous abortion. Not to be used while nursing. Black cohosh should not be given to children. Contraindicated in cases of fully erupted measles, 